Not really sure when or what date that this actually was placed here and when he was buried. But as you can see, this is his gravestone. So it says here, St. Patrick was born in Britain. At 16, he was captured and taken to Ireland where he was sold into slavery. He escaped to France, but one night in a dream, he heard the voice of the Irish calling him back. How Patrick answered that call and brought Christianity to Ireland is one of the most splendid chapters in our history. According to tradition, the remains of St. Patrick with those of two other saints were re-entered onto this site by John de Courcy in the 12th century, thus fulfilling the prophecy that three saints would be buried in the same place. You can see the Mourne Mountains, which hopefully if we have time at the end of our trip, we'll get an opportunity to hike. Got to be prepared. We might have to work out a few times before. Look at this incredible architecture. So as you can see here, you have the light engraving of a cross. Obviously this is hundreds of years old. So this is not a typical headstone that you would imagine for someone of such stature. This cross that you see here is a replica of St. Patrick's cross. They think that it was probably erected at the cathedral between 750 and 850 AD. 